Well, what's up again there, guys? Brian here, the Three Topics Gamer here to give you another episode of my weekly Q&A top of people's questions or answer a series of questions that have been sent to me over the past week. As you see, I am filming outside. Um, this is kind of rare, but uh, the preparations for Thanksgiving in the back are a little too loud right now, so um, this is kind of the quietest place I can go. Hopefully none of my neighbors pop up, otherwise I, I might have to end up be recording this. Uh, I did happen to get a number of questions from about four people, and one particular question was actually really, really good, so I really appreciate that. So before I start answering the four primary questions, i uh, just like to, you know, god dang. I'm sorry, if you guys hear any background noise, there's like a road over there, and people just being crazy inside. So, without wasting any more time, because I don't know how long this is going to go, let's jump right into the search questions. And the first one comes from Shaheen Grimes Goku Sun, and he wanted to know, what do I think about an Assassin's Creed 2 remake with Uncharted 4 graphics, along with grounded version of Shadow? Okay. <laughs> Number one, Shaheen, I'm very much against remakes. Big, big against them. I'm, I'm, I'm against remakes that came out during the 3D era. Uh, yeah, games that were in the, in the 3D era don't need remakes. Now, if you get like a 2D game or an 8-bit game or a 16-bit game, go right ahead. But something like Assassin's Creed 2, which isn't even all that old, I, yeah, I would not support. And for one, I've never even played Shadows, uh, Shadow of War. I don't, I don't know what that is. So, yeah, bottom line is I wouldn't, I don't want a remake of Assassin's Creed 2 at all. So just, just leave it the way it is. Next question comes from Brady Burke, and he wants to know, does Metal Gear Rising deserve a sequel? I don't think it does, and I'm sure we're not going to get one. I don't trust Konami with the property anymore, so no. Uh, it doesn't even need a sequel. And the way the story goes, where could you possibly take it? It would just be more confusing as, as it was, because I don't even acknowledge Metal Gear Rising as official canon. It's more like a what-if scenario. As far as I'm concerned, the series ended with Metal Gear Solid 4, so personally, if a sequel does happen, fine, but... I personally am not asking for a sequel. I don't really think it needs a sequel. I think it's a fine standalone game on its own. Next question comes from All Star Gamer Punk. You want to know Has there ever been a villain or antagonist I found myself rooting for and why? An antagonist I rooted for. I don't. I can't name any off the top of my head. Because if they're the antagonist, then they're bad for a reason. But maybe if you get to know them a bit more, maybe understand their point of view of things, maybe you might feel different, but yeah, off the top of my head, I, I can't think of any antagonists or protagonists that I was rooting for, yet that I can think of, so no. And the last question, Jesus Christ, and the last question of the episode uh, is probably my favorite question I've had in some time. I like these really in-depth personal questions, uh, but this one comes from Nero. And you did happen to mention that you are a, you know, you've been a subscriber for some time, so thanks. And I really liked your question. And you want to know, I noticed that you don't like living where you currently are, which is Las Vegas. And you want to know if I could move away from Vegas to a place that makes me more happy, what would be a future plan to move on from that point on? Do I have any? As it stands right now, there is a somewhat plan to get away from Vegas. It's about a year away, so I'm hoping it comes through. But where would I like to live? <sighs> Just anywhere. Oh, I take it back. Not, not, not anywhere. I would not like to live in Detroit or New York or Los Angeles, especially Los Angeles. Los Angeles would probably be even worse. Los Angeles would be a worse place to live than Vegas. Um, but maybe a place like Phoenix. Um, I like, I like living in Phoenix. Maybe El Paso because my brother is there, so me and him could hang out more. Maybe Houston. I've heard Houston's are a pretty nice place to go. But just, just a, really, just a place where I can actually have things to do and meet new people and go on all kinds of crazy adventures and just create new memories i mean that's that that's really why i want to go to a different location it's not so much because i hate being in vegas i mean i hate it here but it's just the fact that i have so many terrible memories here and very few good ones 
So I think being in a different area that forces me to have to actually step out of my shell and get to know people and get to go on all different kinds of experiences and then create new memories is something that I really need at this point in my life. So that is the primary reason that why I would love to move out of Vegas and just any of those initial places. But heck, it could be any, it could be almost anywhere except for those three primary locations that I mentioned. I, I think I would hate living in those cities in particular. I think it's just a, it takes a certain type of person to want to be, want to go to those kind of places. But yeah, just any good place that's got things to do and good people would be a great place for me to go next. So uh, that will do it for this episode of the People's Questions. I want to thank the four of you that managed to get your questions into the video as well as everyone else that was able to answer their questions in the comment section of the last video. If you guys have any more questions you'd like me to answer in next week's episode, be sure to type them in the comments down below and make sure you get them into me before next Wednesday before I start filming the next episode. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. And I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving as I know it was yesterday by the time this video is uploaded. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you next week.